Hey, welcome back to Banjo Tooie. This is not where I left off last time. It's because I have a few. Well, pretty much this whole level is side quests, but uh, there was some stuff I wanted to take care of that sort of leads into other stuff that I wanted to do. Because, yeah, last time didn't get a whole lot done. This time I might get a little bit done. I'm going to try my best to ignore these things while I pick up the... I think these are called Bazas, for some reason. Which is also an enemy from Donkey Kong Country 3. I think. That was a nice camera angle we had there. Anyway, i got to get this battery up to the third floor. There's... Ah, oh, jeez. I'm glad that that thing can't attack you when you're on the warp pad. Anyway, yeah, here we are again. Got to do all that box climbing, but abusing the double jump might make it a little bit more tolerable. Because I think the double jump goes slightly higher than the backflip does, so... I might be able to sort of cheat the system a little better. Maybe I can even reach that pipe over there. <laughs> yep. Uh, I don't know, I was starting to say about the batteries. There's four of them. You gotta use one each on floors one through floor, one through four. But, um, the batteries are distributed, so there is one on floor two. I mean, there's one outside, there's one on floor, there's two on floor two, there's one on floor three. Sorry, I kind of failed to explain that. So usually I just sort of take them to the closest one, but it really doesn't matter. I suppose I could have taken the elevator shaft to get here. It probably wouldn't have been any faster, though. Anyway, there's the packing room. Uh, you need Kazooie to do that, and I don't want to bring Kazooie here quite yet, so... I'm not sure... Yeah, she could get up here with the spring jump and whatnot, but whatever. Let's just go into the elevator shaft see what that's all about. I won't be able to get up to the top floor, though, because I haven't opened up that. But yeah, this is basically just a massive cord that you climb to get all the way up to the top, and there's a couple of signposts, and what do they say? Already knew how to do that. Uh, okay then. I'm just gonna die. If you have a fear of heights like me, that's particularly sickening to watch. But anyway, doing that should take me back to the split up pads. Right? Yep, okay. Uh, gotta still take Banjo alone for something. Wanna get that Jinjo outside. Stop that. The Jinjo I showed at the end of the last segment need to use both characters separately to do that. Unless there's some weird way to cheat the system that I'm unaware of. Which is perfectly possible, but I wouldn't know about it. So yeah, let's just... Gotta use Banjo to weigh down the switch. And then swap to Kazooie so we can take care of that. If it's ever going to switch. There we go. I was worried for a second it was frozen there. But that would be a weird place to get frozen. And it was still playing the music and everything, so I don't know. I'm, wait. Are there... There's suction cup shoes over here, right? Yeah, I didn't. I, th I thought I might have had to take the ones from inside to get this. I guess I didn't. So up we go. The extremely long and pointlessly bending path, and there we go. Only one more red. Over here is just more shoes, right? Yeah. Let's get Banjo back now. We. Oh yeah. By the way, you can jump there to get onto the fire escape that leads up to floor 4 if you haven't been there yet. A small bit of, like, sequence breaking that I'm not sure actually benefits you in any way. 
since I've already been up there, I definitely don't need to do it. Anyway, I activated some flying pads, so... Now we can take a little tour of the outside of the level. Uh, over there's a thing. Nothing worth bothering with at the moment. You gotta find the windows that aren't boarded up to blow up. There we go. These all hold, like, miniature prizes. If the game will let us see. Yeah, there we go. Uh, these things are annoying. Nice shot of a wall there. I've seen the other end of this window before and pointed it out. I don't exactly remember where it is, though. I think it's just, like, the beginning of floor two. And yeah, this uh, drops a box, so you have slightly easier access to that rabbit. A minor victory. And hooray. Good thing I just save-stated. some more windows. And there's at least one more. I don't exactly remember what they all lead to. This one might be the Cheeto page. Let's see if I was right. Yes, it was. The Cheeto page and uh, the room with all the acid. Those are the only two I remember, but I sh I'm sure there's got to be something else. So, wait, don't crash into the wall. No, you idiot. As if it's their fault. They totally did that without me making them. Um... No, those are the only windows. So let's head up to the very top of the building. There should be a warp pad around here somewhere, and there's also some more windows I can break here, but I'm not going to do that yet because I have greater things in mind. I just want to activate that warp pad first in case I somehow fall off the building or something. I can get up here easier. Okay, that hint sign thing said the smokestacks have a secret. Uh, this one, yeah, has the honeycomb. The other one doesn't have anything on top. But it does have a thingus you can blow up. Nice camera angle there. And this leads to that Jinjo that I grabbed with a clockwork egg earlier. But, since I needed to come back here anyway for the minigame, that was a strangely roundabout, yet convenient for my tasks way of getting back here, I guess. Yada yada, here we got a minigame that, surprise surprise, you have to do stuff with red, green, and blue objects. However, instead of shooting them, this one is actually somewhat unique in that you have to pick them up and dump them off into the proper places. You can carry as many as you want at once, but they weigh you down and then you can't run as fast, so you gotta dump them off every once in a while. And I kind of suck at this game, actually. Probably the worst of the minigames for me. I don't remember how many points you need. Probably way more than I'm getting. But, whatever. Assuming that I actually beat it, at least I'll be accomplishing something of note in this segment. Okay, I assume you need 40, so let's hope I can get that. Yeah, this should be good. Just made it. Is 40 good? Yes, 40 is good. There's my payment. And of course, it has to ask you if you want to play it again. Not really. Ooh, the music. It's doing the thing again. Wait, let me speed it up a bit. Come on, get to a different part of the song. I don't want to stand here all day. I just want to hear the cool music. Because it's like layering all the different types again.
Okay, enough of that. I always like to listen to that music. Can't. I mean, all work and no play makes this for a. I mean, makes this for a. Well, let's just finish it with that statement. I don't know where I was going with that anyway, because technically, anything that could be considered work is also considered play in this. So whatever. And I only have like 30 seconds left, so obviously there's not a whole lot I can do. I think I accomplished everything that I planned, but, like, good lord. I have to do something else. But I guess I can't, so... Um... Next time we'll take Mumbo for a spin. How about that? So, see you then.